Hi, this is part three. I stood back and looked at it a little bit. I wanted to uh, add it a little more light through here. And I have a Terry Ludwig. Love these. Um, barely, barely, barely touching the surface to create some of the light. It's in the background. It's a very pale aqua. I want it to be on the lighter side of the waves. Kind of at a slight angle to indicate where the water is. And I, you know, I don't want to overwork this water and I don't want it all to look the same. When I squint, there's darker in through here. See, right in here. So I'm going to come back again. I'm going to start with a darker turquoise, see if it... No, that's not reading right. Really? This one, yeah, this is a little darker. Still not as dark as I'd like it, but sometimes you just have to layer your colors because you don't. I don't have thousands and thousands because I don't have rain for storage. So I'll just do with the ones I have, and they're just fine. Maybe. What did I just drop? I'm not sure. more turquoise, more of a blue-green than what the picture shows. I think that's a little better. I just want to indicate movement and uh, when you can do some, some people call them lazy bananas where they're just laying, laying down. This would also be better if uh, I was looking at it from a distance. And what's happening is some of the tooth is filling up. And when the tooth is filling up, it's just uh, knocks the the pasta. Hi, Sheldon. You're a sweet kitty. Yeah, yes, you will. That's too dull. It really needs to be vibrant. Hey. And my daughter's cat is a I'm just going to quit that because I'm going to overwork it. So I'm going to put these back in, wipe that off. I am, am going to uh, brush a little bit off of where the bird is. Uh, my brush that I use for the underpainting it should be pretty dry. And I want it skinny enough to get this guy's neck. I 
Okay, we're going to start laying in colors. I have to be careful because he's skinny and I don't have a lot of skinny pastels. No, that's not skinny at all. I do have some Prismacolor pastels. I didn't bring all of them with me. I'm going to go with this light blue for right now. yellow. Again, this is warm light, cool shadows. So one of the things I really want to do along the outer edge of him, I want a very, 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 very pale warm light. And this might be just what I need. I want to just make sure. I put it in the right place. Some of that's up under here, but it's a little more orange. It's a very, very soft pastel. Terry Ludwig, love his work. His, his pastels are my favorite. Well, I'm certainly not gonna use my hand to uh, Actually, it needs to be warmer than that. Hmm. It's pale yellow. Clean it. I might have to get out my. bit of um, orange actually that warm light nice contrast with the blue and I don't want it to be a harsh straight line anyway so a lot of this you know reflecting light, reflective light up up under him. Now I need to get now this is bigger because the others are packed. kind of draw with this. a lot of it's blue 
purple, that's too pink. Needs to be cooler. have a little bit of this in the bird. Gotta have it somewhere else. And the water's starting to reflect some of the sunset where it's damp. It has kind of a purpley cast to it. Lavendery. looking where the darks are on this bird. This is really dark blue-gray, bluish violet. I'm using it to kind of shade and blend. When I squint my eyes it's a little brighter than that, but oh, look where the legs come out. Legs somewhere in here comes back, a little knobby where the knee is, and then comes forward just slightly. The other one is right beside it. Just a tad from it. And there is a lot of orange already showing up on his chest from the reflected light down into the tail. Show that. But this part is really in shadow. So I want to come back and emphasize that. Compared to where the light is. And there's warmth. Warmth here. This is another Terry Ludwig. Bright. And it's warm yellow. A oh, touch of that here. And I want it warmer in here. There's that orange. What you want to be careful of is when you have you have this reflective light, but you want it to read as though um, it's in the shadow. So if you get it too light, like I just did there, then you got to come back with some colors that the values darker. That's a little, that's reflected light, so it's okay to be warm. That's, that's too dark. It needs to be more intense. So I'm going to pull in some of this per, uh, turquoise. Hello, I don't know my colors. 
because I'm just looking, comparing the col the colors of the of the photo versus what's in the painting. It's too bright, so I'm going to dull that down. I really want this sunlight on the back of him to really glow. And right now, it's not bad. I'm going to add a little pink from the sun to pull in the... Woo! A little wide. I guess he just gained some weight. Okay, that parts too thick. I can knock some of the background into it, knock it off. But I gotta be careful because this background is really not sticking like I would like it to. So again, it's a homemade board. I'll probably try the same thing on a on a U art. You see how the see these piles of piles of dust. I don't get that when I work on the U art board. I like I like that better. Not getting that mess. Need a more yellow. Really had some warm light. I don't know that I can. That helped. Let's create a little darker shadow with this.
darker. I haven't used any white yet, so I'm going to do a little bit right here. Sorry, I had to had to look at it a little bit. a little more warmth down there. Put a little more salmon color because that's warmer than the purple. It kind of reflects what's in the what's in the sand. Yeah. 
behind. That's not bad. I'm all right with that. I'm going to leave it for a bit, look at it from a distance. Uh, I don't want to overwork the bird because nothing, I mean, it's a, there's a freshness in this that, that I kind of like. There's uh, not a lot of uh, shadow connection from, from its feet. There's a little bit in here. Put a little bit more in there. going larger would be a little easier to get all the little details but um, you know sometimes doing a small one first uh, is a good thing I would definitely say uh, probably would put more layers of um, pastel uh, the grit before um, if I was going to do a homemade canvas and see what I see here is I see I want this light to go all the way up to the neck, not create a, a halo on either side. See, I kind of stopped there. I want this to come all the way up. consider this uh, done enough. Maybe. 